Hi, this is Digital Femme and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my first experience using the Twitch mobile app while streaming during my coffee break. If you clicked on this video expecting a demo or full on detailed review of the Twitch streaming app, this is not what it's going to be. But hold on, that's okay. You could still stay and hear what I have to say about my experience with it. If you want to hear how that went, then please continue watching. Hi, I'm glad you stayed. Some of you might already know what Twitch is, but for those that don't, it's basically an online platform where people connect a camera or audio device to engage online in real time. Twitch really became popular with the online gaming community. And for those of you that aren't really aware about what that is, basically it's where people play games on their laptop and have people from all over the world watch them play. Hmm. So I signed up for a Twitch account a few years ago. So here's a little bit of a backstory. There was this online platform that was like a streaming platform called Justin TV. And I had signed up for that around 2000 and I believe 10. And then there was something to do with Justin TV and Twitch. And then they kind of like um, were managed by the same company. And then it turned out to be Twitch and Justin TV became Twitch Interactive. I guess they decided to shut down Justin TV and then just focus on Twitch. So technically I've been part of Twitch in sort of like an indirect way for more than a decade. But um, I signed up for a Twitch account a couple of years ago and I just and it's just today that I decided to try the live stream. So as you know, if you've been following me before or viewing any of my videos, you know that I've been live streaming with my Nokia N95 in, since 2008 using a quick mobile app. So live streaming on mobile is really nothing new to me. So what I wanted to do is really test how Twitch worked on mobile. Now I have Twitch on the desktop and it's pretty easy to set up. I won't say easy. Maybe it's like between one and 10, maybe six or seven. You just have to go through the whole settings and get the streaming key and all that. And can. Mm -hmm. But with this one, because I already had a Twitch account, all I had to do was log into it and then everything was set up. So I did this during my coffee break. And interestingly enough, the purpose for me for being on Twitch was to live stream and just talk to people or talk to people and they chat with me while I'm on a coffee break while working remotely. So here I am testing it and really hoping that nobody comes on to the chat because you know there's a little bit of like do I really want to be talking to people like what are they going to say and after like maybe five or seven minutes of me just you know like chatting and pretending that there was an audience and telling them why I was going on Twitch to kind of like test it out for a client so that I could either re recommend using the Twitch mobile app, IRL TV, Mobcam, or Streamlabs, which I want to do videos of those. And those that I mentioned, they are also mobile streaming apps. So after about five or seven minutes, someone showed up on the chat and I was like, really like, oh my God. So you know what? If you've never live streamed before or had a YouTube video or, or even just kind of like don't want to be online, like you want to, but you don't because you're shy, you don't know what to say, like me, I'll tell you the experience. You're kind of like anticipating that somebody will come on because that's why you kind of like, want to be in these platforms anyway is to like engage and, and see how it goes and just you know like just try it out so when the person went on chat it was like oh but then once they just said hi and you just so you just start talking to them they're the ones that are doing all the work they're the ones that are chatting typing using their finger muscles and asking questions and just talking and you just like really you sit back relax and you just read the chat and then you just you know just answer back and it was like really really easy the one thing I really kind of like don't like about twitch is because it's kind of like one-sided just like this especially from a viewer perspective something you have to type it out you have to chat it out unless you do text-to-speech which 
I don't know if it does that, but that would be really cool. However, today I got to experience the other side, the easy side, where basically you just read off the questions and you just answer like just like this. So I'll put a link to the Twitch channel in the description below. And who knows, maybe I'll see you there. So my plan is to live stream on Twitch or Streamlabs or whatever mobile streaming app I will prefer. And I'll let you guys know that like every day, maybe Monday to Friday as a coffee break. And that way I can think about connecting it to YouTube. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm still doing the 1166 day challenge and today is day 10. If you want to know what the 1166 day challenge is, I'll put the link in the description below because I did a video of that or I'll add it as an element at the end of the video. So this is the part where I ask you to please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you're like, why would I subscribe to it? And good question. So I'm actually sharing my YouTube journey, meaning the process of setting up a YouTube channel and how that's going on. At the same time, I'm working on my content, my lighting and, and all that stuff. So if you kind of like want to even just take a peek at what's going on and plus, you know what, it's kind of like lame entertainment. So just look at it that way, lame entertainment, just subscribe, see what's going on, see what I have to say. Anyway, if you have stayed this long, thank you so much and please do like and don't forget to subscribe. Well, that's Bye. all for now and I just really wanted to do a quick video on my coffee break experience streaming live on Twitch.